a very good day to all our channel life sciences finer nuances extend a very warm welcome to all this channel is hosted by dr rakesh kumar singh and myself dr rekha shrivastav of government motilal vigyan mahavidyalay bhopal it caters to the needs of all students learners educators uh, researchers and enthusiasts who wish to explore the wonderful world of life sciences we shall be updating our channel regularly with most recent updates which you will find very interesting please watch us like and subscribe our channel wildlife protection act 1972 an overview as you all know wildlife is the most precious natural asset india possesses it is imperative that we conserve it for posterity and also for the maintenance of ecological balance for this the wildlife protection act 1972 was enacted India is enriched with a variety of flora and fauna however this rich wealth of flora and fauna is under risk of rapid decline due to many causes sadly some of the species are already extinct like pink headed duck asiatic cheetah and some rhinoceros species and also bengal tiger one of the very important animal which is protected and covered under wildlife protection act is rhinoceros which you can see in the background with a view to ensure the ecological and environmental security the wildlife protection act was enacted by the parliament of india on 9th of september 1972 and the citation act number 53 of the same year 1972 objectives of wildlife protection act 1972 one of the main objectives is to prohibit the hunting of wild animals various species of birds etc it lays down various punishments for the violation of such rules to have control on activities of human beings and also uh, to serve the various purposes of this act various schedules contained under this act give absolute protection to the endangered species the backdrop of this picture shows a wonderful picture of leopard which is again an endangered animal the other objectives include to provide shelter and to protect the animals which are not in danger but need protection to protect animals that can be hunted like ducks deer etc and to give powers in the hands of the officers to punish the guilty under this act you can see the wonderful picture of blue whale in the backdrop the act is applicable all over india except the state of jammu and kashmir which has its own wildlife protection act and the act empowers the central government to declare certain areas as sanctuaries and national parks and most importantly the act contains 66 sections divided into 7 chapters and 6 schedules The chapter one also incorporates certain uh, definitions. Some of the important ones are animals includes amphibians, birds, animals, and reptiles. It also includes, in the cases of birds and reptiles, their eggs. Captive animal means any animal which is kept and bred in captivity, as described in Schedule one, two, three, and four. and also animals which live 
under human care in the backdrop you can see the wonderful picture of kingfisher some of the other important definitions include circus which refers to the establishment where animals are made to perform various tricks or tricks are performed on them animal article means any article made from any captive or wild animal like snake and crocodile skin products wildlife includes any animal bees butterflies crustaceans fishes moths and aquatic or land vegetation which forms a part of any habitat hunting includes capturing killing poisoning trapping and injuring animals the chapters include the second chapter includes the, uh, the authorities or the administrative part under this act the central government may appoint a director for the wildlife preservation assistant director and other officers and employees as may be necessary chapter 3 deals with the prohibition of hunting of wild animals chapter 3a deals with the protection of specified plants this is a very unique feature of wildlife protection act prohibition of picking uprooting etc of specified plants chapter 4 provides declaration of sanctuaries national parks and closed areas chapter 4a deals with the central zoo authority and recognition of zoos chapter 5 of this act deals with trade and commerce in wild animals chapter 5a deals with the prohibition of trade and commerce in trophies animal articles etc chapter 6 is related to prevention and detection of offences power of entry search arrest detention and penalties chapter 7 contains miscellaneous provisions specifically related to the articles uh, emphasizing on the scheduled caste scheduled tribes dear listeners students we have painstakingly tried to incorporate the pictures of those animals which are so precious and which are included in the wildlife protection act we have included their pictures in the backdrop which you can see and appreciate the wildlife protection act has six schedules which give varying degree of protection to animals and plants schedule 1 covers endangered species and provides absolute and rigorous protection to them from poaching killing trading etc these species include black buck bengal tiger clouded leopard snow leopard himalayan bear asiatic cheetah kashmiri stag chinkara and cap langur which you can see in the background animals listed in the schedule 2 are given high protection with prohibition of their trade they cannot be hunted except under threat to human life animals listed in the schedule are uh, pigtailed baka bengal hanuman langur sperm whale indian cobra as well as king cobra you can see a wonderful picture of indian cobra at the backdrop animals listed under schedule 3 and 4 are not endangered but they are protected their hunting is prohibited the penalty of any violation is less as compared to the first two schedules and animals which are listed under schedule 3 include cheetal that is a spotted deer nilgai hyena sambar which you can see in the backdrop animals protected under schedule 4 include flamingo hares falcons kingfishers etc schedule 5 includes animals which are called vermins 
these are small animals which are wild and destroy plants and food these animals can be hunted and they include only four species of animals common crows which you can see in the picture fruit bats rats and mice you can see that in the backdrop one of the most important aspect of the wildlife protection act 1972 is that it includes not only animals but also specified plants you can see in schedule 6 uh, the regulation is on the cultivation of specified plants and it restricts their possession sales transportation etc plants protected under this schedule include the blue vanda the red vanda the kuth the slipper orchid pitcher plant nepenthes which you can see a wonderful picture of pitcher plant at the backdrop of this slide finally the benefits of wildlife protection act 1972 this act includes a comprehensive list of endangered species that need protection it provides for prohibition of hunting of endangered species it also provides for protection of specified plants it provides for setting up of national parks wildlife sanctuaries and finally the tagline of our presentation if you want to shoot them use camera and not gun thank you over a period of time there was a uh, necessitated to uh, make certain amendments these amendments were made so that the whole act can be enacted in its true spirit we have uh, incorporated the link here which you can uh, see uh, later on on the video description and click on it to get the entire wildlife protection act and uh, the second link is for the amendments the third link is for the 13th 2013 amendment these links you can find on the description of the video description and the video and if you click on them you will get the entire uh, enact enactment the wildlife protection act and also the details of the various amendments well this brings to an end the topic of the day and the finer nuances related to it i am sure you must have liked it and if you do have any queries you are most welcome please do contact us and of course you can always uh, correspond with us you can correspond with us on our email id life sciences dot finer nuances at gmail dot com